When King Charles III arrived back at Buckingham Palace yesterday, he spent a great deal of time greeting members of the public. Yes, but we all remember it was one eager fan that left the whole world talking. <laughs> He seemed overwhelmed and touched by that gesture. And we are pleased to say that Jessie Asiminius and her nephew Kiri join us now live in London. Jenny, the kiss that stopped the world. <laughs> what was it that made you decide to give the new king a kiss? Well, I don't know. I was too excited and I was so happy to see him stand in the front of me. And he said, share hand, like I say. And I say, and he would look at me, and I would look at him, I say, may I kiss you? And he say, yes. yes. <sighs> what was it about yeah. him that made you feel comfortable enough to do that? Because we, we've never really seen the likes of it before. I'm always follow the royal family. You know, I'm always going to events, and I love the royal family. But it's the first time for many years I see him face to face. Well, Kiri, uh, your auntie has been seen yes. right around the world. We played this shot multiple times yesterday, all day here uh, on the network. Yeah, what did I you can, think when you saw that? Well, what, uh, to be honest with you, um, I was with my auntie and I was in the background and I said to my auntie, don't do anything bad. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's what I said. I said, don't do anything bad. But, but like I said, um, my auntie and me, we are, we are a big fan of, of the royal family. So, obvious, the, yeah, the, this, the, this was like yeah. basically one of a lifetime. Yeah. So, we didn't plan or anything. Yeah, to we do just. What, yeah, like I said, we... Yeah. What, uh, Jenny, we, what, we can see him sort of quickly talking to you before, as you're kissing him or before you kiss him. Do, can you remember what he said? I did miss him. Yes, sir. No, I say, shall I... May I kiss you? And he say, he was think just for the second, and he say, yeah, yes. And oh. I crap him. And I was <laughs> kissing him. And I was very happy. Oh, so she's and, lucky because... And he was looking at me and he say, all right, and... Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well, this has gone global. It's become a defining image of his first, you know, hours as king. Jenny, yeah. how does it feel for you to see your image, for, this footage, playing out is, around the me. world? Are you are you famous now? No, no. I don't feel famous, but I I feel very very happy to go near to Prince to, to King now. Yeah. And I, I was so happy. If I'm going to a million, I don't happy. care. I, I was not happy. I was happy, just like I say, him. just to see him. After so many years, I've been to London, and I was always go there. I didn't see him near. And it was a big deal for me to see him stand in the front and to me, chase the hand. I know it was sad day about his mom. And I say, mm. sorry about your loss. Well, and he obviously, he obviously felt that warmth. He could feel that warmth yeah. and yeah, sincerity. Kiri, when did you first see this footage and how did you react? Uh, to be honest with you, I, I saw it on the BBC News <laughs> and, then I, and then I had to bring up my auntie and go, Auntie, what have you done? She goes, I don't know what she goes to me. She goes, well, all I've done is it, it just, it just uh, kissed the king. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, and, and after that, I, I have to watch wherever my, my auntie goes yeah. now because uh, I think I'm going to need some 24-hour uh, um, bodyguard. uh, bodyguards <laughs> and uh, security. <laughs> Kiri, can we ask you, is she a bit of a kisser? Is, there, is this basically what your auntie's like or is this an extraordinary thing? Is, it, is she, she seems pretty emotional. <laughs> no, no she, she, she tried to kiss uh, two people in her life. Who'd she try to kiss? It was a, a late husband and the king. <laughs> and a piece of yeah. Pretty yeah. good strike yeah, club. That is an yeah. a very exclusive yeah, 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 club. Yeah. Just, just tell us, if you can, Jenny, how, what does the royal family mean to you? Everything. Everything it means to me. I love them since I come to London 1965. And I'm always 
love the royal family since he was small, small children yeah. and they get them married one to the other one. I know so many times I was feeling sorry for the queen that been sad about so many problems like us. We've got a problem. I'm always feel something in my heart, honestly. I I don't know, but I love the queen, the royal family. You know what? And if you... somebody say if somebody says something against, I answer back very bad to them. Yeah, I we... say why? Yeah. Yeah. You're very this protective. Is, this is our people. This is our nation. Yeah. It so, is indeed. you know, we've got to speak up for them. After all, it's a human, like us anyway, human being. They are. And you have humanised them even more, yes. Jenny, with that one simple but beautiful gesture to the king on his first day of being the king. Both of you, we thank you so much for your time. You are literally you. a part thank of history now, nice. Jenny. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank, thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Kiri. We really do appreciate your time. It's as, a, it's as a you simple say. It's so beautiful. But so significant because it does mark this new era of the monarchy, a, a new era of perhaps more accessibility, which is something that when you hear commentary from younger generations in Britain uh, this morning and, and yesterday, they want to see more accessibility. They want to see more relevance. And yeah. perhaps this is the beginning of that. And Jenny has played a role, a very <laughs> significant, although unscripted role in that. Whether he likes it or not, she has opened up the kiss door for the king. <laughs> and uh, he should expect she more. She does set a very interesting <laughs> precedent, doesn't she? She does. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl.